so welcome to have you all here today, and I'm, I'm honored for you all to be here listening to my speech. I'm a geek. Straight up, no question about it, I'm a straight up geek. Now, I don't have no pocket protector. I'm, I'm not flooding and nothing like that. You know, <laughs> I had the big glasses on and nothing like that, but I'm still a straight up geek, all right? Geek is not what it used to be, all right? Geeks today are getting paid. Now, if I, let's do a show of hands. How many of you know who Steve Jobs is? Okay, pretty much almost everyone knows who Steve Jobs is. He's the founder of Apple Incorporated. Um, you may know, if you don't know Steve Jobs himself, you probably heard of the iPhone, iPad, big geek, all right? Now, I took a look at some of these popular geeks, right? And I took a look at their backgrounds because what I'm really trying to instill in our community is those things that make people successful, all right? So I, I took a look at his background and I, I saw that his father, you know, really got him involved in electronics at an early age. So he was about five years old, five or six years old. His father sectioned off a part of his bench just for young Steve Jobs. Mm -hmm. And then that's how he started working with his hands, getting involved in electronics, and really getting that exposure. That's what's really, really needed right now. Just get that exposure, get, get familiar, get around these things, right? So once I seen that, you know, I thought about it that, you know, this is something that, that we need to do. We need to expose the youth to these electronics so that we can, you know, ultimately create these innovative, creative, successful tech people that are going to change the world. Now, um, if you think about it, another person, I know everybody knows who Bill's, Bill Gates is, right? Okay. Everybody knows who Bill Gates is, wealthiest man in the world, super geek, all right? Billions we're talking about here, right? So if you take a look at Bill Gates' background, again, I'm looking at the early days, right? Because I'm really trying to instill things in the youth at an early age. I want to create the conditions that create the next Bill Gates and the next Steve Jobs but come from our community. So as I take a look and I see around 13, he started programming, all right? So he used his spare time, taught himself how to program, create software and things like that, and in his spare time, this led to enormous opportunities for employment. So he started selling these programs. Oh, he's still in high school. He's making thousands of dollars. Now, I don't know any high school student today that wouldn't want to make $1,000. <laughs> I don't know anybody at this table who want to make $1,000, right? So if you take a look at that, again, the key thing is the spare time. Now, both of these individuals have some things in common. They are geeks. Right? But the main thing is that they participated and were involved in emerging technologies. This was new at the time, okay? Now, a lot of people like to think that, okay, maybe they were just lucky, all right? Maybe they just had to happen to be in the right time at the right place and everything lined up. But the fact of the matter is that there's no better opportunity than today. We don't have all the, the 20, 30 years ago, back in their heyday, they don't even had, they didn't never had the, the advances in technologies that we have today. So there's so many entry points into technology today, and there's no better time to take advantage of this. Now, there's no other time to really have access to education and knowledge. But everybody wants to figure out something. What, what do you do? You have internet, what do you do? You type it in Google, right? At the fingertips, we have the ability to touch any knowledge and information that we can, we can think of, really. We're only limited to what we can think of. So I, it depends on, it doesn't matter if, if you believe it or not, but these geeks are changing the world that we live in. They're changing the world that, whether it's work or play, for instance, about two months ago, I was teaching a class, all right? I was teaching a class in China. Now, I had students from all over the world, Malaysia, um, we had some students from Australia, South Africa, even here in the U.S. from Texas, right? Now, I taught this class, a week-long classes that I taught. I taught it in a white beater and some shorts from my basement, okay? I had to go anywhere, I'm doing this across the internet, okay? So the opportunities that are opened up to us today are just vast, and we just need to really educate our youth and to take advantage of these new opportunities that exist. Secondly, 
I don't know any other career field, well, legal career field, where <laughs> I could make over $100 an hour. I don't know anything else that, that you could do that without a college degree, okay? So, again, I'm just trying to take everything that I've learned, learn from other geeks like myself, and really bundle this up and instill it into the youth. Now, as I take a look at, okay, that's how we work, all right? Take a look at how we play. You know, 3D technology, TVs in our home. We take a look at, we have mo mobile phones nowadays that have face recognition. So that means nobody else can use your phone unless it recognizes your face. I mean, the technology with the game consoles, whether it's PlayStation or Xbox Connect, where your body is the controller, you have a, a product that, that looks at your body, you can tell you're part of the game now, you know? And this technology is being used in so many other different uses. But see, the youth are playing with this stuff now, but let's teach them how to build this stuff, how to leverage this. Because if they don't, somebody else will. So we take a look at, again, you know, it doesn't matter if you are what I consider opportunists, right, where you see the trends, you see the growth potential, and you see the dollars too, right? Or if you're a hobbyist, and it's just passionate about technology and learning, and you're just passionate about just figuring things out, tinkering with things, changing it a little bit. Or you can be like me. I'm a little bit of both. I'm what I call a, a techpreneur. You heard of entrepreneur, right? Well, a techpreneur is someone who runs head first into problems. Because we go into problems thinking about how technology can solve these problems, how technology can be the solution, how we can do things faster, cheaper, better than we could before without technology. And that's what I, I consider a techpreneur. Now, if you know anyone, or if you fit this description, any of these personalities that I'm explaining to you, then I want your help. Because we have to make a difference. It's going to take passionate people just like myself. It's going to take us sitting down with the youth, really getting involved, using their spare time. They have plenty of spare time. Getting them involved and surrounded around this technology to be not just consumers of technology, but producers. Thank you.